Hello, this is Joseph from Third Dow Custom Boots and Shoes, and we're excited this year to come out with our new Dream to Grip boots. It's innovative style that has the rubber grip on the inside, it's reinforced, uh, very durable, and it's got a great grip on the saddle. On the other side of the boot, it looks just like a plain, soft baby calf leather, and it's featured with the long elastic and the heavy duty zippers that are guaranteed. Come try one on. Visit us at the Boutique Gardens. The Hampton Classic means everything to me, and especially when people win these beautiful ribbons, and I get to present them. Barbara Lang. I'm from New Jersey. I've worked at the Hampton for several years and it's a pleasure to be the VIP hostess and the VIP tent. We hope to help everybody make them be welcome and make their visit to the Hampton Classic enjoyable. Hi, I'm Kit Lissett. It's my first year working in the hospitality tent. I'm from Orient Point, New York. And it's been a great it's been a great week so far. We're looking forward to the big weekend. <laughs> Welcome to the Hampton Classic. <laughs> My name is Charlie Ferrara. For 20 years I had worked for Louis Roter of Champagne and participated in the Hampton Classic. And I met the most phenomenal people I've ever met in my life. And it was just a wonderful opportunity and I'd like to thank Champagne Louis Roter and thank the Hampton Classic for extremely memorable experiences. A votre santé. And a cheers to Charlie on behalf of myself, Sergio Zecca with Champagne Louis Roter and Jim Belez. We want to thank Charlie for all that he's done for us. We'll never be forgotten. We'll always be uh, remembered. Drinking champagne. Thanks, Charlie. Next chapter. We're excited about the Hampton Classic. It's our first year here, but we've heard about it for many years now. And it'll be fun to see some of the riders that we've only seen on television, like Georgina Bloomberg, Priyanka like Tal, Priyanka Tal, BZ Madden, McLean Ward. Um, so we're excited about it. It's a fun event. It's a great chance to be out with friends doing something that us two are. It's nice to have the boys coming to the sporting event. The girls really don't. Welcome to the Hampton Classic. So glad you could be here with us today. Dan's Papers has been sponsoring the Hampton Classic for, what is it now, 29 years, I think. Something like that, anyway. As you know, Dan's uh, is probably the most iconic publication in the Hamptons. It's all about what to do, where to go, where to stay, and where to play. If you're going to be out here, you really need to pick up a copy. More often, though, people are running to our website, dancepapers.com, also a sponsor of the Hampton Classic. Every year we're here like clockwork and we're here because the Hampton Classic is probably one of the two biggest equestrian events on the East Coast and Dan's has been a proud sponsor of that, like I said, for almost 29 years. I am at my favorite place at my favorite time of the year to watch my favorite event, the Hampton Classic. Uh, I, I, this has meant so much to me. I rode for many, many, many years as a show jumper. I've ridden here at the Classic. I've ridden with some great riders uh, when I rode. The last time I was riding with Joe Fargis and his team. And uh, it, it is, for me, this is the most glorious of all sports. I didn't ride as a kid. Uh, most of these riders began when they were five or six years old. That was beyond my means when I was a child. My father was a poet, my mother was a teacher, and uh, there was no question that they could not afford horseback riding for me. So I would go to the park and watch the riders go by and yearn someday to join them. I was in my 20s 
before I could finally pay for a lesson on a horse. And once I began, it became an addiction. And because I didn't start when I was five, I wasn't bored by the time I was 15 or 16, as many young riders are. So to this day, when I come to this horse show, or watch a round of jumping, I feel the same thrill I felt the first time I ever got on a horse. And I looked, I just looked at the, uh, at the hunter ring behind me, and I was with a colleague, a friend, and I said to him, you know, uh, I, I'm convinced I could jump that in a minute. I can, I can see the distances between the fences, I still see them, I know whether it's five strides or four or three, whether it's short or long, and and I'm convinced that I could do it. I'm probably not right, but still, in my memoir, I describe myself as a recovering equestrian taking it one day at a time. Uh, you never get over it, especially as I did, starting late, so that I never, ever uh, could get bored with it, not for one minute. It remains with me to this day as a sublime experience. Either riding, which I no longer do after an injury a few years ago, or watching, especially here, where you see the best riders under the very best circumstance.